world-class level that all of a sudden when you're playing guitar that drops to about 50. So you have to work so hard for every single point you earn. Well, the first point goes to Qatar. Little touch at the net. Restless noise and excitement coming from the crowd. Good solid serve as well. Forces an overpass. France recover. And that swing from deep. Opportunity now for France. Lovely touch at the net, but kept alive beautifully. That's a sign of that athleticism. Then that roll shot winner. serve this time decent block at the net second chance to kill it loads of space and Sharif will serve for the first time 3-3 three, three. Oh, stinging off the left hand straight down the line Beautiful placement into that postage stamp in the back corner. Just makes everything look so easy. And this is almost the exact deficit that we were talking about. That if you're France, you don't want to see that 6-3, that 7-4 early on. And what that does for the rest of this set is it makes you start to press. And it is going to wrap this time. And then the block as well. Chasing back here, a Qatar. Do manage to return the ball. He lifted it when he swiped at it with that open hand. That could have been you are a ref when you're unsure. And a lot of times be, these plays in beach volleyball are so bang, bang. They happen so fast that it, it is so hard to be sure to, to let it go. And, and France ended up winning the point, which deservedly so. But that athleticism that you could see seven footer at the net. Now I mean, you've got Christian Varenhorst, Oleg Stoyanovsky, Konstantin Semenov. You have all of these just monsters out there. And what, it's been very fun to watch how the game responded. And these, this French team is making a run right now down 7-4, flipping that script to a 10-8 lead one. They can hang with any team in the world. A serve followed by a massive block. They're as good as it gets. And here we go. We got France, the underdogs, the, the third seed in this pool, making a run. Well, Qatar with some work to do. They trade 11-8 following the timeout. And that is the response they wanted, making it 9-11. That might be exactly what they need. And you can see that the court is wet. I know yeah. a, a couple of the players have been saying that it, it's got to be hosed down because the sand temperature gets so hot. 9-11 in the first. 9-12 in the first. Wherever you're watching around the world, great to have you company as France get us back underway, leading 12-9. 12-10, but just looking at the scores, they won that last end by six points to one. Great angle on the winner. You play on, on wet surfaces and the sand gets packed down, you can jump a lot higher. And it, it can be very fun. Oh, great block at the net. Real 50-50, great strength. All of those errors and, and blocks was that his passing wasn't quite in system, wasn't where he wanted to be, so he couldn't really move around his set much. And what a huge swing <laughs> that is a by rocket. Sharif Samba. Good defenders almost taken out of play because that, that ball is just coming in too hot and it, it and hit at such a sharp angle that there's no way he's digging that. And there's Ahmed making just such a good oh. defensive play and a huge swing. 17-13, France with work to do. Another block. Doesn't find the floor, though. Another opportunity for France. But that opportunity is snuffed out. One-handed block. They really don't give you many points at all. But if, if you were to, to do an, an average of, of errors per set, they're still so low. And two is not a lot at all. It gives you such better vision as an offensive player, when you can see the blocker moving, you can see the defense shifting. And again, you can see what, and Sharif does the, uh, something similar where for the net, but he can hit that sharp and fast and down, which is a little bit too fast for a med, which is a supreme compliment. Anything that is too fast for a med to John to dig is as good as it gets. This is as usual for Qatar, lovely shot down the line. 
to win it, does he? No, he he certainly does not. And and that's the tough part in this set. A little bit too tight again. Sharif able to get a touch on it. And they really just don't need much room at all. And there's Sharif. My goodness gracious. <laughs> in the middle of the net, after the second ball play, he didn't come off. Steps back into position. And at that angle. 3-3. The angle again. Just unstoppable. He says, you know, the offense will make 80%, 80% of, the, of their points that they score on. They're going to be untouchable and undiggable. And, and something you just does a good job staying disciplined and not trying to take more than he can and gets out of the way. And Sharif, a rare error from Qatar. Well, Sharif comes straight back. Quite a bit of work to do with that set. Oh, well, when luck... You can steal a couple of those on Qatar. You just want to take those and run with them because they just do such a good job of getting the ball up by any means necessary. Oh, Sharif stings one off the block. Those youngsters having a great time. As the left-handed serve comes in. This time it's Gautier's turn. When he's been running out of the middle, whereas we've seen him struggle a little bit when he takes it to the outside in the pin, where that pin serves as an extra defender. And, and sure, with this ball, the Mikasa, if you don't get your hand on top of it, it will just sail and sail. And, and that's what we saw happen there. She loved World Championships, and she loved the Olympic Games. And no kidding, she won a gold medal at the yeah. Olympic Games, but she was saying that we could get the rest, the, the proper rest that we need. Because beach volleyball, you spend so much energy and you burn so many calories, and it's so hard to recover. And it, a lot of these tournaments, you can play up to three, sometimes four matches in a day. But if you're in world championships, playing at such a supremely high level. But Qatar come out on top of more often than not. They beat 12-10. Oh, and a nice block. Is that Qatar, it's just so hard to sustain the level of play required to play at the level Qatar can play at. And as we mentioned, what Qatar does, they take some Ahmed's head off right yeah. there. 13-11, Sharif off the block. To do is tip it over the crossbar. Qatar just starting to pull away here. Important few points for France. And that is not the start you want to an important few points. Massive swing from Ahmed for a four-point lead. Seeing your reaction time, but if that means you can return the ball quicker, it's an incredibly brave move from him, isn't it? But it's just testament to the skill set that he's got and what separates him from so many players. Personalizing custom. There's no real cookie-cutter way to play beach volleyball. Everyone figures out what works for them and what doesn't work for them. And Ahmed, he's found what works for him. So Gautier's turn. A great time for a service run. Ahmed. Oh, it's a good dig. And the chance for France. Chance converted. Cut shot or a sharper angle swing from Ahmed, but whatever he saw, he read it perfectly and made a very good dig on it. And again, he just finds himself in the right spot. A good opportunity in transition. There's Sharif, just such an athletic play. And a great way to finish it. Qatar is just so good because it's so hard to put the ball down on the sand. And the battle at the net comes back France's way. That tip shot. Oh, the cross net shot is a beauty. And Ahmed breaking out the old school book with the baby cut shot. 19-14, Qatar closing in. Oh. Using his chest as well as most people use their platforms. 15-19. Sharif and then Ahmed hits the winner. Just thus far this tournament, that is how good Qatar is playing right now. And so, France, you scored 15. You're still going to break pool. You had a good showing out here. You 16-20, first match point saved. Second go at it for Qatar. This time they find the sand, they take the second set and the match. 21-16, 21-17.
So Sharif sets. Chance to win the set. Swing on the line. And that is just a brilliant swing from Ahmed Tijan. Just doing what he does, tagging the outside millimeter of the line at a ridiculous angle. And that's why this Qatari team is number two in the world, arguably.